PBR 300. Can you explain this technology to me a little bit? It uh, it looks like a, a lot of power coming from that awful small package. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's about 70% smaller to be exact if you're comparing it to a, a Punch 301. Um, so, yeah, quite a bit of power coming out of a much smaller package. Um, it's basically, if you look at the product, there's no transformer in the product. Um, it's because there's we're only running off of one rail. We're using a uh, charge pump system to boost the rail up to 24 volts. So if we didn't do that, we'd only be able to achieve 150 watts at one ohm. But it, with the boost, we're able to get up to 24 volts, which gives us our 300 watts at, uh, at one ohm. So what you're looking at here is you have your, this, this is a 60 hertz sine wave, and then the, the battery sitting on top of it. So with, if we just had the battery and no boost, we'd get 150 or 150 watts, like I said. And then, but with the boost, we get a 24 volt rail. So what's going on is, once we enter, once we pass the battery, the caps essentially get placed in series with the with the battery to give you two batteries on top of each other. So that'll be 24 volts instead of the 12. And as the signal comes down below the natural battery, the caps go through a recharge uh, in preparation for the next boost event. So your charge cycle is two times per one cycle. So what that means is you don't have to worry about the signal collapsing or the caps discharging because your charge rate is always two times whatever your fundamental audio frequency is. So, And then anytime you can track the audio close to the rail like we're doing here, you're putting the, the outputs in a much more efficient state. So that's where we're getting our heat savings, our higher efficiency, lower current input. Um, so if I had a fixed rail, fixed 24 volt rail, like in a, 20, in, a, in a traditional system, and I was running low levels, that would, the amplifier would be in a really inefficient state, be about 30% efficient. But by having that rail really hug, essentially hugging the, the uh, output, uh, the efficiency is much, much higher. So that's, that's what allows us to get in this really small heat sink. All right. Also, the interconnects that we've chosen are, are non-standard, they're, they're quick disconnects. Um, the, the space that these connectors take up is, is much less than what a traditional connector set would take up. Your signal input is uh, double duty, acts as a high level or a low level input, has the balance differential inputs. If you're running high level, you just snip the ends and then hook this to your, your speaker level lines and there's an auto turn on feature similar to the 360 where you don't have to run a remote to turn on the product. And then also your AP then becomes an AP out so you can power on other devices. All right. Well this right here, this is a sine wave, right? That's a sine wave. Okay. So. Show me what happens when it starts tracking it with music. So, with music, you get the same response, but it's more dynamic because music is dynamic. So you can actually see it tracking. Yeah, so when you get a, a transient peak comes through, a, a bass note or a kick drum or something like that, it will boost up the rail. Um, to let that through and, and give you that extra headroom. It's kind of like a, a turbo on your car. It, it isn't. You're not accessing that that high rail voltage continuously. You're only it's, using you're only it when you need it. When you need it. Yeah. So when it's, you it's that, like almost not letting it touch itself. It's exactly. not letting it touch. It's not letting it touch. Right. It's, it's keeping separation between the audio. Because if it touched, then, you, would, then you, you would take a poop. Yeah. Be, you, you would have clipping. You would yeah. have noises. It, it wouldn't be good at all. That's awesome. I went ahead and put a, a put a turbo light on the product. So. So the, the, the dealer and the, the consumer knows that it's in boost mode. That's the only function it serves. It's kind of a, some cool factor and lets you know, hey, there's something going on in here that's unique compared to other products. So it's not a clip indicator or anything. It's just, hey, it's, it's, boost, it's BRT and it's working. That's awesome technology. Right on. Well, hey, thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate it and uh, can't wait to see this move on up into some bigger amplifiers. You bet. Right on. Like cool. That. Thank you.